I am phoning this one in as well. You can see all the burnt spots here. I saw flames from my house on this one and packed all my stuff in my truck the weekend after Halloween, the weekend of the election. The odd thing about this one is it's directly in alignment with another plasma fire I documented about a month ago that starts right there and goes to right there. So here, directly in alignment, you can see the mountain is burnt up in here and it burnt over to right there and I could see those flames from my house. That's the same 7-Eleven. I'll include the McDonald's down there. Link in the description from one month ago or so when I documented the telltale signs of this plasma fire that burnt right here at the edge of the road. And then you had one that burnt directly in a line straight above it. I don't know if there's a correlation or not, but it's become so passe. Provo Canyon's right over there. I just went and documented that one. And on Halloween weekend, on a Saturday, I went to Walmart and I saw the smoke in the air. And I came home and interacted with my parents and when I left again Sunday to go to work, I realized I didn't even tell them that Provo Canyon's on fire. It's become such a norm. It's not like I decided, oh, I'm not gonna mention it to them. I just failed to mention it because it's become so, such a norm. So as you can see, it only burned from right up in here to right over in here. But I could see the flames that were on this ridge right here from my house, which is just on the next foothill over. And the bizarre thing about this one is it's directly in alignment with where I took this plasma fire video a month or two ago. So this year, including the one in Spanish Fork that started a year and a half ago, we've had Mapleton Canyon go up uh, one right above my house on that hill over there and my neighbor's house right over there. Two of them right here and now Provo Canyon right over there. So one, two, three. My neighbor's house is four. Right above my house is five. Mapleton Canyon is six. Spanish Fort Canyon two years ago is seven. And that's just all right here within rock throw of my house. And yes, this is a plasma fire. I could see I could go up there and show you the telltale signs. But I can see just from this spotty burning in here and here. That it was a plasma fire. So, another day, another plasma fire. I'm phoning them in now. Maybe I'll run over here and, and see if I can see some of the telltale signs of plasma fire that I picked up. Yeah, look at this pole over here. This is the one. See how it's burnt here and highly burnt here? Someone just honked. They probably know I'm documenting plasma fire. Fire doesn't do that. Fire don't do that, do that, do do that, that, that. Let me see if I can find you something else real quick. So that's the pole we were just at. See how burnt this is on the bottom? If 
fire don't do that. Let's go check this next one out. It looks like fire don't do this either. See how burnt it is on this side? All the way down. Unburnt on this side. Fire doesn't do that. Ah, it took a little spill. But you see what I'm saying? Burnt all the way up on one side, completely unburnt on the other. All the way to the tip. Fire don't do that. And that's how I know, I can tell you, that's plasma fire too. I've been doing this long enough. And it happened right above from where that grass starts to where that grass starts is directly in alignment where one happened practically in the same spot a couple months ago. Fire doesn't do this. See how highly burnt this is? Compared to there and there, there is a bolt of electricity going right there. I think these might have been actually touching. I think I might have moved these. These might have been actually sitting more like that. I think I remember this one. Either way, that was part of the same piece. And fire, don't do that. Here's another pole with a highly burned spot. Fire doesn't do that. And sitting next to it is this that's only burned on both ends. Ouch. Hey, fire doesn't do that. It electrified this piece, was picking up the ground current, and it was going out both ends. Fire only burns, or electricity only burns at the entry and the exit point. Fire don't do that. We'd probably find a couple more examples, but I think you get the point. Fire don't do this. See the highly burned spot here, and another one here. A bolt of electricity going through the ground here, and another one here. Carry on. This one also has a burn spot here. And you might say, well, maybe the grass in front of it burned it, but I assure you that's not the case. We're gonna look at this. Notice how unburned it is on the top side. And then we're gonna flip it over. There's the roots of the tree, I believe, and it's tipped over here. This might have actually reburned in the most recent plasma fire. Look how burned it is on the bottom side. Here, let's try that again. I didn't do it right. We'll look at it from the top side. Fairly unburned. Except right out the tip, which is another indicator, these little cir black circles, right wherever there's a... Wherever there's a branch protruding, more electricity comes out right there, but it's fairly unburned on this side. 
Hold that thought. Now let's look at it on this side. See how much it's gone to charcoal right there? Compared to even just right here next to it. Compared to on the other side of it, here's a completely unburned spot. Yet it's charcoaled right there to the point where it's almost gone. Then you look under there on the other side. So I'll just flip this back over one time. And you see how unburned it is on the other side? Fire doesn't burn a stick only on one side like that. So I think this one might have been laying down during this last plasma fire. And I'm sure these bear all, oh, here we go. Look at all of these. All of these are burnt on this side. I have some at home that I've lacquered like this that are unburnt on this side. You can accept the little black dots. And now look on the underside. I gotta flip this over. This is a keeper. I gotta keep some of these. And they're all burnt like that. So. See how they're all burnt on the underside? I'm gonna go grab a saw. You can see the line right here. Right here, burnt on the underside, unburnt on the top side. The ground current is radiating up, cooking the bottom side of this. That's why when you get it to right here, if I can get it to focus here. It's charcoaled under there. There we go. See how it's charcoaled on the underside of that one? On the underside of that one? On the underside of all of these? And how they're all unburnt on the top? This is definitely keeper stuff. Same thing over here. Unburnt on the top. Charcoal on the bottom side. Same thing with all of these, I'm sure. You can even see the burn coming up from the bottom side on them. Unburnt on the top. Another honk. People know, know it's, they know it's up. And they're burnt on the bottom, it's the same thing. I gotta go get a handsaw, I'm coming back. Those are cool.